right guys, for today's video I'm doing some DIY room decor and I thought I would switch things up and show you guys the DIY room decor as well as show you guys how I kind of style it in my place to give you guys some inspiration. I will have a link down below that will take you to all the materials that I use in today's video, but if you haven't already subscribed to this channel it would mean a lot to me if you did, as well as please click that bell so you're notified when I upload. But without further ado, let's jump right into the DIYs. For the first DIY, we are starting off with the abstract wall art piece. For this, you are going to need a large canvas, or you could always go with a smaller one if you're trying to fill a smaller space. But my tip with this would definitely be to wait when your craft store has a sale. I ended up getting this canvas for 60% off, so it was super cheap, and as well as this is the heavy duty canvas that they have. They have some that are a little bit cheaper quality. I recently actually saw those at Ross and they are super affordable. So if you want to go with that, that is always an option. I believe this one was only like $14.99, which is such a good deal. The next thing you are going to need is some sort of base color. If you're using a white canvas, I recommend going with a neutral color. I just use like a camel color. I personally prefer these foam brushes, but if you wanna use a real paintbrush, it's just up to your personal preference. And then the next thing that I needed also for this DIY was some gesso. And this is basically the star of the show. I went with a super heavy gesso, and this is basically almost like a thick putty consistency paint, I would describe it as, and then I'm using some some spatulas I opted to get just the cheapest kind they made so I started off by pouring some of the paint into a smaller bowl because I definitely wasn't going to use all of this and before you start painting make sure that your canvas is going the proper direction sometimes they have hooks on the back and they only hang a certain way so make sure you're painting in the right direction before you start so I am just adding in one layer of this paint and basically this is just going to serve as a base if you're using a different color Color gesso that isn't white like a darker color you may not want to add this base color I'm just going to be using this base color to add some dimension to the photo and any areas where I'm not covering it with the gesso this is just going to act as a barrier so it's not the stark white on white however this kind of is up to your personal preference Online, I've seen a ton of different ways to do this, and as you guys know, I'm not a professional artist or anything. This is my first time trying a project like this, and this is just kind of what worked for me. So I layered a smaller amount of the gesso onto the canvas, and then I just kind of smeared it out in a formation that I thought looked pleasing to my eye. Again, art is kind of what you make it, so I repeated this same process all over, and then I went in with one of the smaller spatulas, and this is just going to act as, again, another layer. The trick here is we're just kind of making the photo 3D, so we want to add a lot of different layers. The goal is to just add as much texture as possible, which is really going to give your art piece its character. So that is pretty much what I did, is I turned it around and I added in even more of the gesso. I left very few areas open and I left those open because as I mentioned earlier we did add that base coat so it will add a little bit more dimension. I didn't want it to be completely stark white. So after I was done there, I definitely wanted to add in some sort of metallic. So I used these gold foil flakes with some matte glue and then some more of my little foam brushes that came in that set that I'm using. And this was very interesting because I just kind of added in some very random little abstract designs. So I started off by adding in the matte paint letting it get a little bit tacky and then adding on the gold flakes and just kind of placing them however I saw fit. I did about four of these different formations. I would recommend letting these little gold foil areas dry before you go in with the next step, but all I basically did was I took some black acrylic paint and I went ahead and just kind of threw this paint all over the painting. I didn't want to do a ton, but I did a few little drops and then a few dashes. And again, this is just going to add a little element to the photo. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It was also super affordable to make compared to what these abstract art pieces can cost when you get them at the store. So, so excited with the way that this turned out. 
Now for this project, we're gonna be creating a mid-century modern side table. The first thing you're going to need is one of these round wood pieces. Next, I also am using some hammered spray paint. I just love the texture this gives off. You're gonna need some shorter screws. And then next, I was able to find this super affordably, so I decided to add a round glass top to my table. However, this part is optional. And then I'm just using some hairpin legs. I actually already had these from a previous project. They are super affordable when you get them off of Amazon. And then lastly, I am using an electric screwdriver. So for the first step, I'm just spray painting one layer of that spray paint onto the wooden round. I'm doing one layer on the front as well as one layer on the back of the project. Next, I'm going in with the hairpin legs and I'm just kind of arranging them how they need to be done. And I did find out doing this project, it was better to do three than four. So that's what I went with. And I'm just drawing in little stenciled areas. That way I know where to actually screw them down when I go ahead and get my screwdriver because honesty hour, I don't usually use power tools. Super inspired by Rachel here on YouTube. Rachel Mutz, she uses them all the time. So I decided to step it up a little bit with today's project. So all you have to do is add four screws to each leg and just secure those nicely on to the wooden round and your table is created. It's that simple. No need to go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars on these simple side tables. You can just make your own for super cheap. This next project is so affordable and so simple but looks so good. So I'm taking a smaller size cinder block. Yes, you can get these for a dollar basically at your hardware store. And then I'm using these felt rounds. You can also find these at Dollar Tree. So I would definitely recommend checking there. And then lastly, I'm using some industrial glue as well as this pompous grass. I personally got mine locally because it grows where I live, but they do have it available on Amazon. I will link it down below. So for this, I just started off by arranging where I wanted those felt rounds to go. This is super important that you make sure you add enough. You may even wanna add six. I'm personally just adding four you remove the backing from them and then I'm adding in the industrial glue just to make sure they're extra secure. Since this cinder block is so heavy, you definitely don't want it to ruin your furniture. So that is the reasoning for adding in these felt pads. So I definitely would not skip this step. Otherwise you could have some serious problems and cause some serious damage to any beautiful furniture that you have. But it's super simple and I probably let this dry for just a few hours. And then I added it on to my glass tabletop and I can do that because the felt prevents it from scratching. And lastly, all I did was add in the pompous grass and kind of arranged it however I thought it would look cool in the cinder block. And now you're all done with your very industrial looking DIY project that literally only costs you a few dollars. I know that if I saw something like this on sale at Urban Outfitters or something, I would definitely pay a lot more for it, but you can DIY it for super cheap, which is what we did today. And as far as styling this little area, which is what I kind of was going for, tying everything in together. So I created this abstract art, as you guys know. That's what I wanted to base the whole area with. And then I added in this woven chair that was kindly gifted to me by Sophia. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. So this is from their new bandolier collection. It's just a beautiful woven chair that has such good attention to detail. And I think just the black makes everything look so much nicer. So I added in, of course, my side table that I just created and made. And I put the glass top on it. I think it looks perfect with the pompous grass DIY. And you have your fun new little like seating area. You can use this for an entryway. You can even style the pieces separately, but I'm so excited. I was able to create this artwork also on a budget because I couldn't find any of those really fun abstract art pieces for anything less than like $100 at Home Goods. And when I was searching online, I was seeing prices like in the $1,000 range, which definitely was not within my budget for this smaller project. And don't forget, as always, I will have everything linked down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed all those fun DIYs. I thought they were super like minimal and aesthetically pleasing and I love the way the styling turned out. So I hope you guys did too. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.